Hello, hello. I got a special package in the mail today, and I'd like to take a moment or two to, you know, go over it and talk about it. It's a sword, of course, from a company called Hanbon Forge. Uh, I ordered it uh, the 14th of November, and it just come today. And, uh... I guess this is just an in-depth review of it. There's not many reviews of it on YouTube that go in-depth and talk about it. I mean, there's an unboxing and like one or two quick reviews, but the company's out of uh, Longquan, China. Some people, you know, might think that's a bad thing, you know, Chinese sword and all, but it's actually, they make a pretty decent product. Comes in this sword bag. Uh, well, it has, they have more than one sword bag you can choose from. I chose this particular one just because I like the way it looked, but and it's a pretty good quality little bag. I mean, it's nothing to write home about, but, <laughs> you know, let's see if I can get her unwrapped here. And yes, sorry for the camera work. I'm doing this all one-handed, so. <clears throat> okay. Let's talk about the the fittings that I got put on it were brass. This is a custom, one of their custom katanas. The fittings on it, the suba is brass. Uh, the fuchi is brass. The manuki are little brass snakes. Uh... And the Kashira is a brass little coiled up snake. Uh, the Samagawa is, I'd say it's about medium quality. You ain't going to be able to see it good at this camera because it's crappy. But <clears throat> The Ito is black cotton. It's wrapped very well. Very tight wrap on that. Uh, the Saya is... Just your standard cheap saya. They do have high quality sayas with bullhorn and a ray skin, but I didn't want, you know, I just wanted the cheap saya. So uh, the sago is cotton, which on some cheaper swords, you know, they use nylon, but this sword wasn't that cheap. The suba is a snake theme. As I said, it's brass, pretty high quality. You know in my opinion but the best part about this sword right here the best part and I'm gonna have to set my camera down so I can get it out but the best part about this blade right here I mean this sword is the blade it's a 1095 high carbon steel it's about 27 almost 28 inches of blade uh 10 inches of handle it has been clay tempered the temper goes all the way down to the kasaki and i know it's got oil on it that's oil that i put on there uh the sword handles extremely well in my opinion and the polish on it is is really good I mean, for what you pay for them. This one right here with the brass fittings was $232 US. It's got a very straight blade. There's no dents, no dings. I mean, it's just... The quality of this sword is, is really outstanding for the price. I was quite surprised, actually. The Hamon is, is, I like it, it's, you know, it's unique. It's like a ocean waves or something. <laughs> ah, the Kisaki on it, it's, it's not very defined. I mean, it has some definition, but it's not like super defined. But all in all, it's a really beautiful piece. Uh, like I said, no rattle. Everything's tight. The leopard print of Baki's tight. 
the Sapa are, are good and tight. It's a really nice sword. <clears throat> Swordsmith Yao and Hanbon Forge, they know what they're doing. If you're in the market for a reasonable price katana, I would highly suggest getting one of these. Uh, as I said, this one, I got the brass fittings, which was $45 more. I mean, if you're looking for more budget, you can get this same blade like this with the cheaper fittings, and it'll cost you about $177 US dollars, free shipping. It is really... I mean, it's just a really beautiful blade. Uh, the heat treatment is authentic. It is, you know, tempered. I don't know if it's clay tempered. They may just temper it, you know, using water or whatnot. But it is heat treated. I mean, you can see, you know, where the harder steel is, even, in places. I mean, it's just a really nice piece. Like I said, it's it's, you know... In my opinion, it was worth every penny. The polish on it is excellent. Uh, thanks for watching, and you know, like and subscribe if you want to. If not, don't. <laughs> but I'm very pleased with it.